we're hunting in Alaska tomorrow, Doug. Adios, amigo. No, I see one. He's a big boy. Just got him. What's going on, Dad? Hey! Hey, Bear! Go! Hey! Alright. Well, Dad, you ready for this big journey to Alaska? You better be. You've been after it for a months. year. A year. We've been planning this trip for Alaska for over a year. We're just leaving here on. Uh, Today is Monday. It's almost one o'clock. It's almost one o'clock. One o'clock. Twenty-seventh day of August. <laughs> you throw old fun. So why don't, why don't mom step in here? You guys can say your goodbyes. Come on, mom. you and be careful. We have a custom border here, right here in the United States and Canada. Awesome. At 10 and 18. Your passport? Passport in hand. Awesome. I don't know if we need them or not. We don't know. First of all, I wanted to apologize. This is going to be horrible. We've been on the road for 31 straight hours. Um, we left the uh, Central Oregon coast approximately 1.30. Um, we are 300 miles away from the Yukon. 250 at least. Two, two, right, 300, 250 miles from the Yukon border. So we haven't seen a live moose yet, and uh, hopefully we'll be we seeing just, one tomorrow. We just took the film of that bull. Yeah, we just, uh, we just, just coming into camp, and I go, I'm driving on the road, and I go, oh my goodness. There's a couple animals. I couldn't tell what was getting dark out. I couldn't tell what they were. And I said, God, they look like elk. I didn't even know there's elk up in here. Shoot, we've seen two herds of elk. Yeah. How many miles did we travel in 31 hours? What was the, what was the total score on 1,543 out miles we put on. Um, those are actually, since 1.30 yesterday, yesterday afternoon, so. Out of the Yukon, Canada, to uh, Alaska, coming up the border, and uh, customs. It is 10:37 on Wednesday night of that would be the 29th of August. So, ooh, our first moose. Big honking freaking thing. We've only gone 44 hours, 28 minutes to 
see a moose. <laughs> and we finally found one. Looked like a young one. It's Thursday morning at uh, one o'clock. We uh, we've been on the road for driving time 44 hours 44 minutes. The mileage is 2,443 miles. Right now we're sitting at uh, 80 miles exactly from Delta Junction. So we've seen two moose. So we're celebrating with two cigars. Yeah, a little too close for my comfort. So Them things are big. <laughs> maybe do a little scouting tomorrow. Check out the uh, area. Since we got in Alaska, it's been dark. I think we're uh we did see uh, oh yeah seen coyotes and fox, fox and everything bison there. yeah we got to see some bison i got some good pictures of bison uh and then uh elk yeah we seen elk this morning first thing right out of right out of camp we seen uh some elk and uh deer some buck deer we're gonna hang up the hats for tonight go at it tomorrow so Hopefully we can get some moose on video and well you guys have a fun time. We're gonna sleep. We're tired. <laughs> Dad spotted him. Dad spotted him. You guys oh there you walked right out in the open, right? Oh, I'm gonna get this on tape then. He's walking away from us so. Oop, too far. Ah <coughs> shit Ray. Look at the depth of his body, and then look at them horns. That's 40 or 45, maybe even 50 inches wide. No. Look how long. He's 40. 40 incher. Look at them tines on them sucker. This is Les. This is Adam. We start flying out tomorrow, hopefully. We could all make it safely and uh, start hunting all long day. So two days we could be uh, out there hunting. That's gonna be awesome. That's a lot of gear. We're compressing it down. All right, we are standing here on a runway, getting ready to get picked up in the morning. I'm gonna be uh, first one going in. We got the plane loaded up tonight. He's gonna fly in. Uh, load what do you say seven seven yeah. he's gonna leave another airport where we loaded him up at seven o'clock and then uh, he's gonna go basically that direction which would be southeast from here about 40 miles up a river um, uh, dad and I are limited to uh, 50 inch and better 50 inch and better or uh, four inch brow tines so we got to really watch what we're going to shoot for um, we kind of ditched Uncle Les and, and uh, Adam there they uh, they paid for an extra night at a campground and I was like piss on it let's let's just run up there well we pull into the airport we do a little spin around and check it out it's just a little runway out in the middle of the woods we pull down this gravel road come down probably maybe a mile see a freaking cow moose, little young bull head right in her butt and he's all smacking his lips. He was getting pretty excited. So we're landing actually in a, a river bottom on a, and I guess it's pretty smooth. There's some bumpy spots in the middle he said. But uh, pretty safe. Wind usually blows up and down the canyon. There's not much side wind. So hopefully in the morning we don't have too much side wind and, and uh, have a nice safe flight in. So. Dad, love you. Adios, amigo. All right. <laughs> we'll back in a couple have, a, have a safe flight. Okay. We'll see you up there, Dad.
right here. I'm just going to slowly zoom in and uh, show you what he looks like. It's, it's a long ways over to that hill. It's about a 60 inch spread. So he's just sleeping right there. Real nice moose. I would, uh, I'd be happy for dad to get him. So season starts tomorrow. Uh, we can't hunt today. We just got up. Going down in that draw. He's actually down in a hole. It looks like he's rubbing his antlers. That's just one paddle you're looking at there. Looking through my binoculars, Dad is so excited. We've never been up here to Alaska. And never, I've never hunted out of the state. Dad hunted in Idaho one year, but I just hope they stick around tonight. We could be on them first thing in the morning. Maybe do a little, little spot and stock on them. I'll zoom out here. Spotted another one walking up on this ridge. Yep. See how wide that sucker is? Oh, crap. And right out in the freaking open. Right. He's coming in a different way than what he brought Adam and I in. Just the wind. Wind is coming in a little different. Yep, he's taxiing. Yeah. So he must. Oh, he's gonna want to fly into the wind. Anyway. Yeah. So he must take him off the wheel there a little bit. His gear. Yeah, he's got his gear on.
Uncle Les. Coming in with the wind, probably he's not going to land here. It's probably going to go around. Coffee's dead. Yeah. I think it's 
Yeah, I'll bring that. <laughs> There's a bull? Yeah. Big one? Oh, a couple cows down there. Uh, big one. You said, you said 50 inches. You might, I'd, I'd look real close. The horns are real narrow, but they're really tip. He'd be illegal for a resident. Yeah. What do we got around here? A five. Oh! <laughs> Brown is left on yeah, the outside yeah. edge or 
Yeah, right. Slides, so that Polish it up a little bit better. Yeah. I'll give you something to look at for a while. That's right. All night long. All night long. Spot was going to be easy going. Yeah, even if it takes a couple days, I mean, if you yeah. go up there and you can't find it, you're better off to come back down. Back yeah. out, yeah. Or just do it again. Just, there's, there's probably some right between oh, here sure. and there. Yeah. Maybe down here and this yeah. stuff. Yeah. Quite a ways over there. Yeah. Sure. And they sh can't jump you down the hungry room or much. Wouldn't be very good. Try to leave you what time you got. It is. It's quarter to five. Quarter five. Yeah, quarter to five. Well, have a good trip quarter back. Six. Six. Thank you, Jeff. Good luck. Give you a, Thank you. Bring your rifle if you come in tomorrow. <laughs> we'll give you a call. Hopefully, we've got a big one up here. Get that bear. Yeah. Oh, that bear. Yeah. Well, we got pile. Yeah. Get these two. A gut pile we can see from the last go Where the heck did they come from? Do you think you're in this brush here? Shit, yeah. Well, the bear go over there and look at all the tracks walking up and down that little creek. I might run. Yeah. <laughs> you might I might want to ride tomorrow. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> Okay, there's one. Okay, Dad, spot your spot, spot me one too, Dad. We'll find him tomorrow and nail his ass. Yeah, we're yeah. standing around camp and we're just about ready to fall over. <laughs> <laughs> I have mean, oh, I did it. Like, pass out. Yeah, I'm freezing. Actually, uh, my son is an alcoholic. Uh, your coffee pot then is uh, the tap rope. Uh, I got we can make a pot like that. That's one of the only ones. You need to take it back. Send them back. Say this one went to Alaska, <laughs> and this is the moose I got with it. And these things kick ass. <laughs> we flew it in. It cost us four hundred dollars to get this. Stanley, we were just sing it down the river in the airplane. <coughs> uh, heck, guy ran over. Yeah, we can always put a message in there and Good send it down. Tracks. My, he ran over the boat. My old oh, hey, that makes me sound like the bad guy. Who put I, it on the tailgate I of the truck when I pulled out? <laughs> Having a cup of coffee. Oh, yeah, ready to go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! And it, it must have that axle. You remember that the Hill? Yeah, it went all the way up the hill. Oh, Uncle Mike's. <laughs> they had the made Well, oh, I pulled out of there. You can't see around that corner. You couldn't see him. Get blind or something. There's the cook tent. But we got our food tent or. Right here. We just get up, get up and do it. The sucker is nice. Alaska, right, yeah, Alaska guide it. model. It's Green good. fly. It's actually bigger than you think. I don't know what it looks like with a person up against it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look very tall. But it's actually taller than I am. I'll go like this. Now it looks huge. And then the moose antlers like this. Good picture. Day two. Hunt begins today. We spotted the bull. It's raining. It's been raining since 5.30 this morning. So he's bedded down right out in the opening. We're going to try to go sneak around him, see what happens. We're going to go watch Ray shoot a big for the ball here. We just got him down, boy. <laughs> we got All him. day we've been at this. Oh, man. We just got ourselves a trophy. How far? 30 yards? Yeah, maybe 30 yards. 30 yards? But we snuck right in on oh. top of him. We knew he was here. We passed up about a old 45 incher. Yeah. We need 50 or four brow tines in this area. And he's gonna be bigger than 50. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a wall hanger. Dad thumped him. 
He's got a nice clean shot on his shoulder. I ran around dad and I shot again just to just to put him down. Did you get your bullet out of your chamber yet, Dad? Yep, I took it out. We I haven't even gone over to look. In. We just got done shooting. We uh, just made sure he was falling down. And uh, we figured this was the best way to get to him. So we were in bow range. <laughs> Yeah. We're actually on a trail here. He's just about 20 yards ahead of you, Dad. Maybe even less. 10 yards. Right here. See this little opening? Keep going about 10 more yards. He's right in front of you. I've seen him fall over. Okay, Dad. I see antlers. I got antlers. I see antlers. Holy <laughs> shit, Dad. <laughs> you realize what we got? A whopper. <laughs> awesome. Holy, holy shit. shit. This sucker we've been watching for two days. I want to, uh, I'm taking the camera out of the housing so we can get better audio and video. And, uh, Holy shit. Wow. Holy shit. Three brow tines on one side, three on the other. What's going on, Dad? What's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah. It's quite a <laughs> wrestling match. <laughs> Holy, look at them tines. <laughs> I told you it was about 18 inches on that side. Yeah, Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful front sew on him? He comes down and he triples on each side. This sucker is huge. We roughed him out at 63. Maybe he might go 64. Look at this. Look at that point yeah. right there, Dad. Yeah. Well, what a wall hanger. He's got a Come on, little bit of get, velvet. We, we got to get going. Well, we're sitting here attempting to roll this humongous thing over. As you see, he is on a little bit of a hillside. We've been walking since early this morning. Oh, what time is it? We're after four, 4.30. It's 4.30. We've been hiking since daylight. We got up at 5.30 this morning. We've been hiking ever since. Told Dad to get around this bugger, to get the wind in our face. I'll have to show you. Well, you know where the sucker was at. I got, I got this one on video, a couple different times. Uh, Uncle Les, he's down there, and he he went clear back. He was not with. He was within a quarter of a mile of this bull, and he went back, and thinking that this other bunch of bulls we jumped spooked him out. And uh, it, was there four it, four it bulls is, and a cow? Yeah. Yeah. Four. Four bulls and a cow, a lot smaller than him. We were actually just going just for this guy. We had spotted them other bulls, but yeah, uh, yeah, 45 yeah. was the biggest out of the bunch. And uh, we couldn't have to. We, yeah, we got to go 50 or larger. So dad didn't want to get right after this so way. We went a little over. We're so far in that uh, the 45 inch ain't worth shooting. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but this guy, he, he'd be tougher up to snooker down there where we're at. We're a long, camp's a long ways away. We're gonna be packing meat all day tomorrow. Oh, actually, we come down quite a bit in elevation. We've been kinda, we've been up, oh, we were probably another five, 600 feet higher. We had oh, to circle easy, around. Easy. Yeah, it was, we were up there. We get this cape, it's cool. It's gonna be cool tonight. It got down to, how cold was it last night? I was shaking in the sleeping bag. <laughs> We were freaking freezing. Cuddle up with my boy for some warmth. And I had thermals on and two pairs of pants, uh, no, two pairs of shirts 
and a t-shirt, and I was, my jaws were chattering. But it clouded over last night, and uh, warmed up a little bit, and I got warm again. We're going to be probably trying to dry some clothes, because we're drowned rats, and we got to get to going here. Though. Yeah, right we're gonna. We, we're at 4:30 and we're miles away, so we gotta. It's gonna take us over two and a half hours to walk to camp. Yeah, way out there and all the way down. Yeah, I'll pan around just to show you where we're at. It's beautiful scenery. Okay. I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you where camp is at. Couple way little, down there. Couple of little dots. <laughs> Maybe out here in the open somewhere where we can keep an eye out. Mm. Lay it back there, we're apt to have bear problems. Yeah. And if bear come out here, we'll just shoot. We'll just lay it down here on the runway towards yeah. the end. Yeah. So that way you can, we won't have to pack it very far. We, 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 cut cut the tri we could go over and cut them poles and make a yeah. tripod too. Mm -hmm. Have it hang. Yeah. That block looks out good. Yeah. Shit, it went even wide over. Yeah. Yeah, because he cuts them all. He, we had to go uphill, pull him uphill, yeah. to get a get his legs to spread open so we could gut him. But man, once we got that cape off and we split his brisket, he just started. Yeah. Just you just see the steam mm -hmm. just rising right off him. Thing you'd is, be surprised how much heat that that hide will hold. Oh my God, it a quarter just, inch is thick. Mm -hmm. In yeah, air, yeah, yeah. just so. Yeah. Well, they lay out here in the wide open, and they're toasty and all night long. You know. Yeah. Right? How's the pack, Dad? Light. I want to get Uncle Les. <laughs> Just want to pan it around. Like. Two days of packing meat. Holy cow. Wow. That was a heck of a pack. We were right underneath where the rocks start. There. Somewhere right in the middle of that, in the screen, is where we were at. That stuff there, that green, that darker green, that's so about 20 feet tall, believe it or not. You can't uh, crawl through it. Scrub alder. It's nasty. Really, really nasty. Heck yeah. This is all backstrap or? This is all tenderloin. Oh. We haven't you know, even had the backstrap. This is some good eatings. This is the first time Dad and I have ever eaten moose. First Thanks. time we've eaten two days. Yeah. <laughs> Could have shot him with a bone arrow if that close. Oh, oh yeah. Cut it with a plastic freaking knife. It's so tender. Mm. <laughs> Look, Mom, Dad's cleaning. <laughs> We're doing a little housekeeping. <laughs> Maid service and I'm on my hands and knees. <laughs> Dad's back starting to hurt. <laughs> but it's a good hurt, right, Dad? We got the moose in camp. So. Been a long, wet day. Oh, it's about six o'clock right now in the afternoon. Yeah. We got in here on the fourth. Today's the eighth. And uh, 
This is the first day it's rained all dang day. It started last night. Wind, probably 40 mile per hour winds. Tent just rocking, think it's about to lift off. And, and uh, but we got all the meat hanging and horns are right next to camp here, so that's good. There we go. We took quite a beating today. Ray did spot a nice young bull. He went bedded down early and I guess the same thing happened to Lass. He, he spotted a, a, a keeper but he was quite a ways up and on the other side of a creek. <laughs> a big creek. Yeah. <laughs> We'd call that a river. <laughs> Here in Alaska they call it a creek. Uh, so he, if the water comes down, we might look for him because he's, he's going to be a three-mile hike just to get down to where he's uh, to go up in there after him. Yeah. So it might be a five, six-mile hike uh, to get him out. But he's a nice bull, so so they say. Just seen him a little too late to start trying today, so maybe they'll go Every, back down everything. Tomorrow. Everything is pretty much laying down today. It's, yeah, it's we just bad out there. Bull I spotted, he got up, fed a little bit, went in the brush, bedded down, and all we could see is his head and antlers, and that was it, out of the brush. But he was across a, a river. <laughs> it's raging. It's uh, glacier water. It's probably 33 to 35 degree water. Yeah, we're getting a warm rain right now, and it, and, uh, it ain't helping us for hunting because no. we can't cross. If we could cross, we could double the amount of area we can hunt. And, uh, but as far as pretty scenery and lots of animals running around. Look, I see a nice bull caribou last night. Yeah, so we've seen sheep, and sheep caribou, goats, caribou. We didn't see, that was the first day we've been here, we haven't seen a bull. We got him. We got him. <laughs> 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 by about 4.30, we left camp about 8 in the morning, by about, well, about 3.30, I was like, Dad, we need to eat. And so we were actually above the bull. The bull was, what, probably, I think he was like 3,700 feet elevation. And uh, we were up above him, and the wind was blowing, swirling every which way, but a good way. And I had my little kitchen, thanks to Mike. We actually had a couple mountain house meals right there in the uh, <laughs> right on top of right that on bowl. top of that bowl. We're what 236 yards from the bowl. Got and a little wind back in the sail, you might say. Oh yeah, we were starving. We got up, picked up our kitchen, cleaned up, kind of. All right, let's let's do this thing. And I let Dad lead, and he put a bullet in the chamber, and. Uh, we got right up on top. We're, we're looking for him. We couldn't see him down in the little the little belly. Couldn't see him, so we just started sneaking really quietly. And uh, about 30 yards, I was I was probably a good 10, 10 feet behind Dad with my gun, and I, I had the camera with me, but it was raining so bad, I didn't really want to ruin the, the camera. So Dad started doing this crap. And I was like, oh no. So I jumped about 10 feet to the left of him and I seen dad raise up his rifle and there's just, bull gets up out of his bed and he's just running through that thick ass alder trees and, and his scrub alder and dad whoosh, just drills the sucker right behind the shoulder and he just keep, he just runs just enough where I got a nice little window and I put a second shot in him. Wasn't the best shot. I had, he was kind of quartering away from me and. But uh, what'd he go? Ten more yards after that, and yeah, he, he just sat there. And Dad racked another shell in, and he raised his gun up. And I'm watching the bolt through his little window. And he he's, could, he's just standing there, just rocking back and forth. And I'm yelling, Dad, don't shoot, don't shoot. You know, he's dead. And uh, but I'm just a little bit taller than Dad. I could see over that brush. That brush is right there. I mean, it's pretty tall stuff. But yeah, you'll. That's all you see is them big paddles uh, from a big bull, but uh, if they're a cow, that brush covers them up. Yeah. You can't even see them. Oh, bad. In fact, that bull, we looked in there for a good 40 minutes 
it, we knew where he was just going to be. He was have to be right there. Yeah. And you, we couldn't, couldn't see, see him. him. He was just down in a hole. We, <laughs> oh, man. Four to five inches of fat on his ass. Oh, man. He was a fat boy. He had one little piece of velvet hanging off his antler, which we spotted from base camp here. And uh, so we knew it was that bull that we've been watching. And right after we shot, Dad and I took a couple pictures. We, had, we were kind of hurry. It was 30, 4.30 and we were at least three miles out of camp. And uh, it was, by the way, the bird flies, it's only a mile and a half. And, and the animals down downhill facing downhill is pretty steep. Yeah, steep enough was, that when we probably like that. Finally got the guts and the hide off of the, well, you know, hide, him off the hide anyway, and got him strapped up. The only way we could hold him on the hill was the ropes. Yeah, we the hide tied him. The only thing holding him on the hill. If we had cut them ropes, he'd have went down the hill, just like a slave. Yeah. We had to head off at that time because we couldn't even do nothing with him in that nope. brush. No. Nope. That, that thing is. It got everything. Well, just wait till you see them. They're, them tines are long. <laughs> yeah, it was a, uh, it was pretty fun. I've never gutted an animal when it was facing down. Oh, Usually, no. them, them deer and elk that we hunt, you know, you could manhandle them by yourself and spin them downhill so their heads uphill. And that moves we couldn't move. We tried moving it. Nope. Until we got it off the cape and it was on the cape and we had it all caped out, it started sliding pretty good on its cape, but. There was so much fat on its back and its butt. And never gutted an animal that had so much fat. I was pulling out oh, a good 10, 15 pound bars of fat. They were just right right there in this pelvis area. The pelvis area was unusually fat. Uh, we thought we had everything out, but between the, the urinal tract and the Colon. Yeah, the colon <laughs> track, there was a layer of fat an inch and a half thick. We were searching for it. It was, it was we kept on cutting and cutting man, and cutting. I mean, man, it was fat. We've never seen nothing that fat before. But he had a nice little hiding spot. He didn't have to leave. But for, we did try some backstrap last night. Nope, tenderloin. Oh, well. We're going to have backstrap tonight. Back. But boy, you talk about good. Holy moly. I don't know if it was just us being starved to death because we hadn't ate for two days. But Yeah, the meal on top of the hill was our last meal. For two days. Yeah, that was our last meal. You shot we got up the next morning and start packing. started packing meat. So today, it was raining all day, so it was a good day to kind of just sit around. We walked probably a mile up uh, to the, to the south. Way. Yeah, both then, ways. And then Dad walked two miles that way. I walked a mile that way. And that Sitka rain gear really freaking works. The first day we used it, uh, man, I, we're just bone dry. We've been, we had basically or just our base well, layer. Actually, I got a little bit too much on, and I'm sweating. <laughs> well, you got your thermals. I don't even wear my thermals. I just wear this base layer mountain pants and. Uh, the base layer of mountain shirt. Well, I was worried about getting cold last night, so we're, I wore this under, and I actually didn't even take and change my clothes. I just wore this <laughs> without the vest. I got night in bed. And I was nice and toasty. First time in a long time. <laughs> it got too hot. I had to unzip it like this so I could sleep. I was sweating. We did bring a thermometer. I set it out on the tent, and it broke the first night. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna tell you how cold it gets. It was, it was cold. <laughs> Dad was, Dad woke me up just shivering. Man, there's a draft coming in this tent. And I said, Dad, we're in a tent. <laughs> it's not windproof. Cool. If this weather pattern keeps up, we might be in here a little longer than we have anticipated. So, we've called the pilot a couple times from the satellite phone, and uh, I call. Actually, I called him again this morning, and no answer. And told him, yeah, I said, the weather's real bad. Don't bother coming up. But as soon as that weather breaks, we got a whole uh, big 63-inch uh, moose hanging in camp. Dad and I built this uh, big A-frame. Well, you well, yeah, we'll get we'll, it on film before we take it down. Yeah, I want to get, get that. that. I want to put the antlers right up next to it. Looks like somebody's cheapy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's pretty good though. It holds all that meat. There, there's good 600 pounds probably in that. Just hanging, hanging off of that. 
It's but strong. It, it, it'll hold another 600 pounds if we had to. Yep, we could just hang them a little lower. Mm -hmm. Weather turns cold for a couple of days, or it might come down to where we can get across. Yeah. If it's cold, that, that glacier should or freeze it, up. And another thing is, if it drop, if the weather turns cold and them bulls get in more in a rut, these guys call right here. I can't. Yeah, they should come right in, in almost into camp here with us. Yeah. I just don't want no big three mile pot grizzly right now. Oh there. yeah. <clears throat> We've been. It's kind of sketchy to go out and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night with a little wind up flashlight. <laughs> Yeah, it don't <laughs> shine far enough for me. You know? I want that 15 million candle power. <laughs> that would be. Well, I was able to talk to my wife and my son for the first time this morning. That was kind of good. I needed to talk to them. And I had dreams about them every night. Dad got to talk to mom. I think you talked to her last yeah, but, night. Yeah, and but this the morning. darn phone. It, well, we're in such a. I mean, we're only in a mile. The, the delta's only a mile across and it's just straight up. So we can only get a satellite just for, right above us. For and, a short you know, time. maybe, I don't know. He might, he might be over here too going behind them peaks. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because you call her right back. Yeah, it, it cuts but in, it, the antenna just bounces back and forth. So sometimes we can get the phone and sometimes we can't. So Yeah, all these, all these peaks around here right now are kind of a little bit white. The great fly out. <laughs> saving our tent for last wherever it's at there she is
that's what we're talking about right there. It's colder than a witch's tit. Bottom of a glacier. Pilot's Man. got the dads out. We're getting ready to haul our asses out of here. It's about five days after season end. And uh, we've been snowed in for almost a week now. So hopefully uh, he'll come back and pick us up. It's the first nice clear day, no snow. Ugh. One of the few days that it was sunny here. <laughs> I can't see him. There he is, shining now. Under them horns. 75, 80 pounds on the big one. Under the horns, though. Oh, under the horns? Probably two loads. Is there? Yeah. I might try and get that one loader. Smells like you've been packing with this one pack. Oh, yeah. What's that? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Smells oh, like you've been packing with this one pack. Oh, man. We put, we calculated up, we got over 50 miles of packing. Yeah, why don't you leave that food, Ray? Throw that in with meat and horns. Okay. Because I'm going to be heavy and I'll have plenty of room. What do you got in here? Uh, camera can read it. I got to fly with the door open all the way back with them horns, so I'm going to, maybe I can get one this afternoon in the heat of the day. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> get the big ones. We don't want anybody stealing those things. Shit, nobody's gonna be up here stealing them. Where's the plane in? Where, in here? One plane. One plane. Landed uh, here? Uh, no. no, they flew over about maybe five days ago. Right oh, after man. you left, the day what you picked color? up dad's meat, blue. Greenish blue and white. Blue. I thought maybe it might be fish and game. Greenish blue? Yeah, kind of. Sea green blue. Put that on. Brought in a freaking hundred rounds. We only used up one apiece. He brought in a hundred rounds. No, I'm joking. Dude, what the I, told, hell? I was teasing Dad about bringing in. I think he brought like forty rounds or something. Yeah, I brought rounds. a box of twenty. Yeah. You never know. Hundred other. What the hell? Is that everything? I'm gonna grab the my camera. camera there.
What'd you see, animal? Adam? Yeah. What? Did you see anything? I didn't see a darn animal. Really? Yeah. Any fuel? Yeah. One or two? I'll get them. Uh, give me two. Here comes Adam's antlers. Little smell out of it. You see any horns out the side? I don't. I don't yet. He's sure slowing way down, isn't he? He's a hell of a pilot. Side, Jim. Oh, the left side. Get in there, Dad. I'll oh, take some stills. Quite a long ways to 
You can get in here too, can't you? Tell us the story, Dad. Oh, come on now. <laughs> ten, oh, ten shots later. <laughs> You brought a hundred rounds and brought you brought a hundred rounds and only fired one. <laughs> <laughs> Should have left them up there in the rock pile. Oh man. Oh man. Well, I'll have to take down my elk horns and move them over and put this up there. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, oh, you guys. This was a trip. A trip to I'll remember. Be, yep, yeah. Trip we'll never forget. Yeah, we'll never forget. We'll never forget. <laughs> yeah. Ah. It was fun. It's not over. No. We've got to make it over yet. <laughs>